What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I'm gonna answer a question uh, from uh, a subscriber named Abdul, right? So Abdul, this is for you, but I think uh, this is gonna help uh, everybody in the, uh, in the community, um, <clears throat> you know, who does martial arts and who, uh, who's interested in judo and jujitsu, any kind of form of grappling and even martial arts in general, right? Uh, so for those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I'm 41 years old. Uh, I, started, uh, I started judo at like 36, right? But prior to that, I did, uh, I st I did uh, BJJ. I did that from the age of 30 uh, until 36. Then I trans over transitioned over to judo. So, and I'm still going now. I mean, well, right now I can't because, you know, of the quarantine and everything's, cl everything's shut down. But I mean, I'm still working on getting my black belt as soon as the clubs, uh, this is over with, you know, whether it be, t you know, two, three months or six months or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go back, get my black belt, get my points, and then after that, well, uh, I'm going for the world title, you know? Uh, I wanna be, I wanna get a Canadian title or a, a world title. You know, obviously it's gonna be like masters, I don't know, free or something like that, cause I'll be, I'll be old, but uh, I think I do have, um, I'm in shape enough and I'm, I'm, I'm driven enough and actually I, I know how to take care of myself, right? So to maintain uh, my injuries, right? Like my, obviously the, the best thing to do if you're injured is really just to stop whatever the root cause. But the root cause in my case would be judo. So I can't live without that. But I do have a lot of issues uh, with my ankle, with my lower back, with my, uh, my shoulders now, you know? So <clears throat> for, uh, in this video, Abdo, right, his thing is that he dislocated his shoulder. He's a younger guy, right, he, he's 20. So he disla dislocated his shoulder, now he's giving the summer time to rest up, and anyways, we're in quarantine now, so it's the perfect time, like you get to heal up, right? But then after that, you know, of course, there's always that fear when you get, uh, when you get injured, okay? So <clears throat> the first thing I would suggest definitely is, I know you guys are, some, a lot of you guys are from the States, right? So the Medicare system and all that, it's different. Uh, if you don't, you know, like if you don't have an insurance and, and, and going to see a doctor and all that, it's expensive, right? But I mean, if you do and you're, you're able to go see a doctor, I mean, I, I imagine that if you, if you popped it out of place, it got dislocated, well, you had to get it back in. I don't know if, if uh, you popped it back in yourself or with some friends or whatever, or you had to go to the hospital. But usually after that, well, <clears throat> um, I think that uh, a doctor usually, what I always recommend is that you go see a doctor. From there, you know, they might, uh, if you need to go to get a, an x-ray or an MRI, you know, that would be the ideal to see what the damage is. But, and then after that, usually, well, you know, they always send you to physio. Uh, you know, surgery is, is usually uh, sometimes uh, uh, a solution, but not always, you know? So like surgery is usually, you should like really not like get surgery if you don't need to because man you know surgeons are like mechanics right <laughs> you got good ones you got bad ones and it might never come back the same you know but you know if you're young i mean you 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 could recover but it'll never be the same right so okay once that's established right <clears throat> uh the only way to 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 build back up from there is really a lot of uh, what do you call it? Not, not not bodybuilding, but resistance training. You gotta lift weights. You really gotta lift weights, and you gotta do all kinds of exercises for your shoulders, lateral. Like you have to make sure you have the full mobility, right? Once you you understand that you have full mobility of your shoulders, so you're able to bring it up like this, bring it up like this. You're able to do this movement right here, right? Internal rotation, external rotation. So one way you could compare, right? Right, is that you take the this is, this is, of course, assuming that the other shoulder is actually healthy, right? So let's say you busted up uh, this shoulder here, then you would compare the range of motion with this shoulder here and everything you can do, right? And then you see where it's kind of stuck and all that. And then, of course, you got to train your shoulder. So you got to do uh, a lot of external rotation. So you have uh, the cable here or an elastic band that you could attach to the wall and you come out like this. Definitely, you gotta do that. You gotta do some internal rotation. You gotta move this thing. You gotta hang from a bar a lot. You gotta stretch. Uh, and of course, one thing that I started doing for my shoulder is that I, I use a, I don't have a yoga ball with me, right? But you put a yoga ball onto the wall and then you draw out the alphabet. You put some pressure on it and then you go, 
you go, you draw A, B, C up until Z, you're gonna see it's gonna like, oof, cause you're working the stabilizing muscles like back in the scap right here. So that helps a lot. If that gets too easy, right, what I do is I put the, the, the yoga ball on the ground and then I put this arm here in the back and then I just lean on it. Obviously don't lean too much so you just like fly off but then you start doing your ABCs and all that there. So you do that and you, of course, all the other exercises for your, uh, um, for your shoulders are good. So, you know, lateral raises, right? Pressing, this kind of pressing, Arnold pressing, whatever, any kind of pressing, right? Right, lateral raises. And of course, you know, when you lean over and you gotta do the back muscles too, but you also gotta, you gotta work your back a lot, like a lot, because in judo, like everything is, um, like it's a lot of pulling, man, you know? So that's why you, like your shoulders are gonna, uh, you, you gotta take care of them. So you gotta get them really muscular, right? And strong. And really that's the only way around it. And after that, like you go back progressively, you know? So you have all this time right now to heal. You're still young, right? So at 20 years old, yeah, man, you, you heal fast. But if you're not careful, you're gonna pay for it later on, right? So you have to like not, of course, you have to be careful and you have to be smart about it, but you don't, you don't need to be afraid. So of course, you know, you check, ideally you check with your doctor, your physio, and then you rehab it. But uh, you know, rehabbing physio up to a certain point, Usually physios, what they do is that, okay, they just make sure you, um, uh, you know, it's functional and then off you go, right, kind of thing. But if you get a good physio and you explain them like the needs of your sport, right, then after that, they'll, they'll progress you through it so that it's really strong. But at the end of the day, it's really like, it's always the same solution, okay? So just to give you a little bit of uh, context, um, I, ha I recently had an x-ray for my lower back, okay, and uh, my ankle. And here's the thing, my back is slightly deviated, the, my, my lower back is actually slightly deviated towards uh, the, the right because of judo, because I'm right-handed in judo, so I'm always, I'm always getting, I'm always attacking on this side, you know, doing ippon suenage, grabbing like this, blah, 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 and even this hand, this is my, this is my power hand, you know, so I'm grabbing from the top or the, 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 uh, the, um, the collar, right, or on top, uh, behind the head, and then I'm pulling down. And guys are always attacking on this arm. They're doing keep on snagging like right under this arm, like that, tack, tack, and it's like it. So there you go, you know. Uh, so where was I going with this? Okay, yeah, that's why my spine is slightly deviated. The bottom of my spine is slightly deviated to the right. Now on top of that, okay, uh, with all the wear and tear, right? Like uh, I have like um, calcification, osteophyte, or something like that, like in in uh, in one of the um, uh, the vertebrae or maybe you too or whatever. And what it is is that there's bones, there's, you know, it's being calcified. So bones are growing, right? You know, to protect, uh, to protect my body. Uh, but unfortunately what it does also is that, well, if it grows enough, okay, it's gonna pinch a nerve, right? And if it pinches a nerve, my, ner my, my feet, are, my legs are gonna start tingling. Once they start tingling, you know, that's a bad sign. And then from there, well, you know, they get an MRI again. And then after that, well, it's surgery eventually. So my physio recommended me, listen, you're gonna, you're gonna have to be very careful, right? Uh, in how you approach this, okay? Ideally you stop, but if you're not gonna stop, you know, go, you know, pace yourself, right? And do a lot, a lot of uh, weightlifting to get stronger, but, I gotta get my core super strong, right? And at the same time, I have to avoid uh, certain exercises that are gonna mess up my back. And, it, and even for my ankle, it's the same thing. So there's like fragments of like the mobility, I lost some mobility there, right? Because of judo, always getting thrown and like my ankle, like my, my heel always slamming onto the ground and that kind of messed, that messed everything up. So now I have limited mobility there. On top of that, there's also fragments of bones floating around, but not enough for them to, to, to for, you know, to, not enough to require surgery. Um, but that being said, you know, and of course there's, uh, you know, it's, everything's all crooked in there, so they can't do nothing for now. Surgery is, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, not, a, um, it's not a good option, right? Because they don't need to, like, you know, you don't just have surgery for fun. Like, like when you have surgery, it's because you really need it or, you know, uh, or, you know, or, or something's gonna happen, like terrible is gonna happen to your foot. Either you're gonna lose the function or you're gonna have to cut it off or some craziness, right? So, what's the solution? Well, ideally, like my, my, uh, my physio told me, either you, you know, change sports and you get, get this. He's telling me like, you know, maybe you do something softer, like, you know, kickboxing or something like that. I'm like, hmm, 
Okay, well, yeah, so you trade, uh, you know, uh, concussion for, <laughs> for, for, you know, like uh, busted up joints and all that. And, you know, so here's my strategy. And, and then after that, it's all about building your muscles up, getting like super strong, super tight where you need to, right, in the shoulder uh, complex, right, in front and on the side, on the back, especially the back, keeping that mobility, doing a lot of mobility work with bands and all that stretching the heck out of it you know and of course uh living a a, uh, a a healthy lifestyle which promotes healing and recuperation and all that so that means um you know sleeping enough eating right hydration right massage you know and, and all kinds of stuff right so and at the end of that like yeah so there there's no way about it in the sense that if you if you're doing uh, a a contact sport and you want to go high level right and you want to like compete and you're, you're going hard and stuff like that like man you know injuries is part of the game like you could just manage your injuries there's no way around it like really even even try your best it's gonna happen you know it's a contact sport it's dynamic it's unpredictable so here's how, what I recommend when it comes to uh, training frequency okay and and duration like if you're an older person right like myself like I find two times a week of hard, of, of hard training is enough. Like if you do judo two times a week, that's enough, man. You know, because if you have like two hard sessions, that's enough. Now, if you add in any other sessions, it's got to be light, man. It's got to be really light. You know, like you could even talk to your instructor about it and tell him, listen, man, like, uh, you know, or even if you're coming back from injury. I mean, actually, if you're coming back from injury, you should really just take it go light and test it out you gotta build back that confidence through weight training mobility and you know testing yourself out slowly at the gym until you build back that confidence right you know you practice your break falls and all that you see you make sure everything's okay usually a good physio could guide you through this right uh, while you're rehabbing and you're trying to get it back to where it, it, it uh, it's, it's functional it's strong enough to go uh, to go all out again to compete but if not, if you if you don't if you're not seeing a physio, you're not being uh, followed by a physio. You just have to use your own common sense, right? You gotta test it out. Go slowly, test it out. Build back that confidence, slow, uh, confidence slowly in your shoulder. Because remember, it's it's a trauma, right? Like if you if you dislocate your shoulder, of course you're not gonna like your mind, the muscle. Like there, there's there, there's fear here, man. After that, you have to build it back up slowly. You know, like uh, if you you know like you don't just go back and do whatever you're doing because your mind's going to kind of lock you because you know it's, it's it's afraid but you gotta you gotta show you gotta prove to your mind that it's it's getting back it's getting back it's strong okay and so two times a week is what i suggest uh for people well for people who are rehabbing and stuff like that like really take it slow you know you're better off taking it slow than going hard busting yourself up and then really being out afterwards you know because you know the like, if you're not careful and you really damage your your shoulder i mean you're it's gonna take a long ass time to come back, you know? So take your time coming back, that's one thing. Uh, but for the older guys and gals, sorry, uh, the, who are practicing some kind of contact sport, martial arts, right? Like, I find two times a week of hard training, that's enough, man, that's enough. Especially in something like judo. In BJJ, you could probably get away with it a little bit more because the, the truth is like BJJ, it's, it's uh, you know, you're on the ground, so there's less impact, you know? Like, uh, so, so you can, you can train like more often, right? And you can drill light and you can go light. Whereas judo, man, you, you, you go light and sparring, you, you get thrown and like, you know, like being thrown in the air, I don't care how light you go, you're still being thrown and that's still, that's still impact, you know, even if the person controls it, but still like the, your adversary, I mean, controls the fall and holds your arm back and all that. Okay. But still, man, it's, it's a, uh, it's a rough, it's a rough sport for the body. Right? So. Two times a week, this is how I go about it. Two times a week of hard training, uh, then if I add in another session, it's gonna be light. It's gonna be very light, like very, very light. Like I'll take small guys only, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do like the rolls and all that just to keep the flow going. I'll do the drills, the like uh, the uh, uh, the kumikata practice, and of course the um, uh, uchikomi, right? Like the entries, boom, 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 you know? And then after that, I, I'll probably I'd probably do a little bit of groundwork too, but I'll sit out, or at least I'll just do kumikata work with uh, my adversary. Like when it's time to, to actually spar, I'll just tell him, listen, I just want to do you know a kumikata, but really light, you know, uh, and, and that's it. Like I'd go really light. But to me, 
two times of hard training a week, right? Is enough, and ideally you space them out so you have time to heal and you have time to do, uh, hit the gym and hit weights and do conditioning, right? Like to, to get your muscles strong and, and and bigger, right? So that's that's my approach. So for 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 what I'm trying to do, and for where I'm at with my injuries, my age, okay, it's two times a week of hard training, one time maybe light, you know. If I do a third time, it's super light, and after that I spend the rest of my time. The, all the other times, all I'm doing is lifting weights. I'm lifting weights, I'm building my muscles, I'm building my endurance, I'm building my strength, I'm doing all the exercises I need to do to, uh, to keep my, my shoulder uh, strong and intact because that's the only thing I can do for my shoulders, for my back, uh, you know? Like I don't do, uh, for example, back squats anymore because it compresses the spine. So I do front squats instead. I don't do bent over rolls with heavy weight. Like I'll do a bent over row, but with my two legs in an athletic stance and then um, and just, just like unilateral. So I just do it one arm and I focus, I focus my core, but I don't do anything that puts uh, you know a lot of pressure on my lower back. And that doesn't mean that I don't train my lower back. It just means that I select exercises that are not gonna mess it up, right? It's just not worth it. And you can, you can train your legs and your back like there's a million ways to do it, especially like without uh, without having to do like back squats and bent over rows and, and Romanian deadlifts. Like I don't do that anymore, even though I love those exercises. But dude, I, I want to I love judo more. Right. And I want to do judo and I want to do it for a very long time. And I ain't finishing in no wheelchair and or having surgery and stuff like that. So I have to take care of my body. I was going to take up hot yoga, guys like uh because i need to stretch and there's amazing benefits uh for heat therapy right sauna and cold and all that but i can't right now because you know of the quarantine but you know i could still stretch right so i stretch at home i take my hot baths and all that when i need to and i work on my muscles and now since we're quarantined i'm, I'm resting up you know i'm stretching i'm doing my thing and here's the thing too while we're in quarantine guys um eat a little bit less really like, uh, because if, if you're not moving enough, and remember, like, here's the thing, if you wanna lose weight and burn calories, it's all a function of your body weight and how much distance you travel, right? So it's, it's cardio, it's steady state cardio. So if you're not moving enough, like reduce the amount of food you eat. And one, one way you can do that is eat a lot of fiber, protein, and stuff like that. You'll see, you'll get used to it, you know? And um, th like, don't get, um, so that way you don't, uh, you don't, you don't get fat, right, uh, during quarantine. So. That's it. I hope uh, I hope that helped, right? So you got to build back the confidence in your muscle, right? Go about it slowly. You got to do a lot of like shoulder work, a lot of shoulder. Like, there's no way around it. Like, if you my oh, okay, so shoulder a lot of like uh, lifting weights, lifting weights, lifting weights. You know, front, back, in external rotation, internal rotation, like this. You know, do a whole bunch of things. Do a lot of pulling. You know, all kinds of pulling, vertical pulling horizontal pulling, pulling at different angles, you know? I mean, it, you, you gotta get that done, right? And then uh, you build it back slowly and you live a, you eat well, you sleep well. Okay, that's gonna help tremendously, of course. And you're young too, at 20 years old. And uh, for the older guys, well, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta just keep, it's, it's, a, it's a grind, man. Like uh, if you wanna keep practicing and stuff like that, you gotta take care of your body, you know? Like you, like, and, and there's no 100% uh, recovery if you if you keep practicing the sport you have to be aware of that you're just like um you're doing um what do you call it you're just maintaining a certain level you know so that you could continue uh practicing your sport um so that's it i hope that helped man and um was oh yeah so i'll give you an example of like how the benefits of actually doing a lot of weight training okay you gotta lift weights man for 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 this you can't just you know so my knee like i, I got uh, my my knees both my knees have issues right so i have like uh partially torn ligaments and all the all the ligaments in my knee are partially torn okay so what the physio told me was that okay you gotta get really strong legs really strong really really strong and you gotta so how do you get strong how do you get stronger okay and how do you get bigger in terms of muscle okay um well it's not as people make it more complicated than it actually is but the more often you work out a muscle okay the stronger and bigger it's gonna get you know so 
course you gotta rest in between, but that's that's for an MV. I don't want to talk for half an hour here. Uh, but you gotta so I worked out my legs so much. Like I do my legs practically not at the same intensity. Okay, I work them out three times a week officially, okay, but okay, uh every day I do I do something for my legs. I'm always doing like a hundred well when the gym was open, I was doing a hundred uh, leg presses a day before my actual workout. Okay, obviously the weight wasn't that heavy, you know, I was just using it as a warm up, but you know, and then after that, my legs, I would hit them three times a week instead of just two times a week because I got to get that muscle uh, up and going, you know, because the muscles are, are what's going to support uh, my knee, right? So my quads, my hamstrings, my glutes, you know, my calves and all that. And, and so I worked them out so much. And I got to tell you, man, it makes a big, big difference. Like that injury is always going to be there. Those ligaments don't heal. But, but that being said, if you have so much muscle and your muscles are so like... <clears throat> on point i mean like it just you could feel it i could feel it at this point like like when i'm when i'm uh when i step on this leg right when i step on it's actually my left uh, knee my left leg when i step on it i feel like the instability but like a, a fraction of a second later man i feel my muscles like just jumping in and, and contracting and stabilizing my knee and it's fucking wild so sorry freaking what i don't even know how to edit so i guess i just I'm trying to cuss less, guys, because, um, well, the, the YouTube algorithm, I think that if you cuss too much, right, like, you, you, you know, like, you, it doesn't rank as high or, or you don't, you know, you don't get, uh, you don't eventually get, uh, how do you say, uh, people put ads on your videos. I'd like to get to that point at one point because I want to do this more often. I want to be able to take this camera, this thing, bring you guys to the dojo and stuff like that, you know, well. And then, and then show you guys how I work and stuff like that. Like, I was about to do that, man. And then everything closed down, you know? Like, I was so shy about it before. And uh, issues with uh, my coach, with busting my ball, saying I can't be YouTubing while I'm fighting and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to him and convince him. And I'm at a new club now, too. So when I, when I talk to the sensei, I'm going to ask him if I can. But well, I'll get it done for you guys, man. You know, it's just that uh, I was going to do that. But, you know, this thing happened. It's okay, whatever. But all that to say that when I, when, I, when, I, when I fight now, when I move, when I land on this leg, I know the instability is there. But you know what brings me confidence? My muscles are so, like, reactive and so, and they're strong now. So they all, like, just jump in at the same time, like, and they stabilize the knee. So it's amazing, so, you know? So, and, and that's just pure hard work, you know? And, uh, you know, from uh, doing my legs, like, essentially every single day, hitting them hard three times a week, but doing them every single day. Of course, it's a bitch at the beginning. I mean, man, you're going to be sore as hell. So it's okay. If, you have a, if, if you're too sore, take a day off, you know, um, relax, massage it, stretch it out and stuff like that. You know, I have a Theragun, you know, I'll sh I think I showed you guys in another video. But anyways, use Theragun, you know, if you have one. If you don't, it's okay. Use a foam roller, you know. Use your elbow, whatever you can. You got to massage this, okay? So, but yeah, man, that's the only way around it. You do a ton, a shit ton of work on your legs. And now if you got shoulder issues, do a shit ton of work on your shoulders. Shit ton, like like, like crazy, you know? So you, you, you hit your shoulders, like let's say, for example, three times a week hard, okay? But every day you're doing, you're waking up, you got to make it a priority, man. You know, big priority, like hit this. They're going to get obviously bigger, but hey, why not? Like, listen, judo, man, you know, uh, everything else being equal, the stronger guy wins. The guy who has better conditioning and bigger muscles. Oh, well, not necessarily bigger, right? But definitely stronger. Listen, guys, so that's it for this video. Uh, it's been running for 23 minutes. Um, hope that wasn't too long, but I, I kind of get carried away. I love talking about this stuff, okay? And um, I'll make another video uh, on certain exercises that uh, I believe are super beneficial for... Uh, for, for judo players and even for grappling for BJJ guys, but more specifically judo because that's where I'm in right now. But if you have any questions, comments, like leave them down below and uh, I'll get back to you guys. I always do, right? And if, if, if I've forgotten any of you guys, sorry, just, just, just shoot another message and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it because I, I have a lot of time now and I'm making it a, a priority to you know make these videos uh, for you guys. So down below, Put your comments, uh, like the video if you liked it, uh, and of course, uh, sharing it is always good. Sharing is caring, and it helps to you know get me more views and blah 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 and likes and all that. And then uh, who knows? Eventually, I might actually make money off this. <laughs> Hopefully, that's that's the plan, kind of you know. But I mean, I'm not doing it. I'd like to make money off it. 
but you know it's not the uh, the main thing right the main thing is really building this community and talking about this and if you oh click on the uh, notification bell so it notifies you uh, when I do my next video you know so thank you guys for all your support man um, and I, I love the comments you know everyone's there we're all talking about martial arts and and, and yeah man I get a lot of like uh, like like encouraging uh, uh, compliments about you know people liking like what I talk about and stuff like that so I'm, uh, I'm really happy about that it really like helps me to continue um, talking about and making these videos and uh, yeah, man, I, I believe that uh, we could build something good here, you know, and uh, I'm very, I'm a very transparent guy and, uh, you know, and, and hopefully you guys uh, see that and yeah, man, help me, help me make this thing big and then you're going to see, it's going to, it's going to be more and more fun, good information, you know, and all that and uh, yeah, this is what I want to do. All right, guys, so keep following me. I'm going for that black belt. I'm going for that world title. I'm 41 years old, you know, and made a lot of mistakes in my life, but I'm on the path right now. I'll talk about that in another video, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. So that's it, guys. Peace.